Tyrese, a bit of a slow start tonight, but this is going to go the way you guys kind of rebounded from that and just going to be able to kind of pick up a solid win here tonight. What was the key for you guys to be able to do that? I mean, we just stayed resilient. They came out in shots early. We came out turning the ball over. I think I turned it over a couple of times. Uh, Big Fella turned it over a couple of times. Um, you know, but we can't have those slow starts. But Tobias Harris was, was key. You know what I'm saying? He really picked it up for us, made some shots. It was really good on defense, so we appreciate him for that. Is it nice to be able to know that you have different people to step in, whether it's Tobias or Joel or yourself, <laughs> not to have, you know, one guy that you depend on. You seem to have you seem to have this thought this entire season. It's great, you know what I'm saying? We had guys who had big games in a lot of different moments. We had Pat Bev had a big game. He's had multiple games where he hit, you know, three, four threes. Marcus Morris has done it. Kelly Oubre has done it. Uh, Dan House comes off the bench. A lot does it. Robert Kite. We have a lot of guys who do a lot of different things. That's I didn't even talk about Nico and uh, my man uh, Mel. Like, I didn't even talk about them. So, you know, this team's deep in there. That's, that's a good thing for us. He's got to stop uh, Denny Butler just coming and being able to you have a professional mindset, continue to come in and work every day, and then you guys get this opportunity to play ball. What would you kind of say about him as a person, as a player? No, nah, he's, he's big time. You know what I mean? He's been around the league for a long time, so he knows how to stay professional, he knows how to stay ready. And, uh, you know, we did tonight and la- the other night, I think that was um, two nights ago, he guarded Anthony Edwards. He got a lot of different people that night, so he's been huge. We know he's a playoff and a guy that plays in the playoffs. Last year he was big in the playoffs, so we know he's always going to be ready, and uh, you know we appreciate him for that. What did kind of snap you guys out of the start? Was there like a moment where you're like, okay, can you run the rhythm now? I mean, Tobias Harris, he had a couple shots. I just remember him coming to the bench saying, you know, we got to pick it up. And, you know, like I told somebody earlier, I think it was Ben Rosen, he's a, he's a pro's pro, man. It's, it's games where sometimes, you know, he doesn't get as many shots as he probably should, but he, he never complains. He goes out there, he defends his tail off every single night. He's always professional. He's always there early. And then, you know, you count on him, you know, to score big numbers when we need him to. And uh, that's why, you know, we appreciate him. We love him for that. What was he like for you as a rookie? Remember? No, he was huge. He was huge. You know, it's, it's stories that I had that go, you know, days, days, and I can tell for hours. But, you know, I just remember one story. Uh, he told me on the bus I wasn't playing that much. And, you know, I was kind of upset, you know, kind of down on myself. And uh, he kind of just pulled me to the, to the back of the bus and had, like, you know, 15, 20 minute conversation with me about how, you know, your time will come. Be patient. You know, and it did. And, you know, I just really do appreciate him. He knows that, that uh, you know, anything that, you know, I can do for him, which is not a lot, but, you know, I always try to do that for him, you know, and I keep him, try to keep his energy high because he always keeps mine high. So I appreciate him. All right, so when it comes for you, uh, you know, getting over the fourth quarter, is there like a change in your mindset, whether that's feeling the win, kind of getting closer, or having more experience playing against the past those two quarters? Is there something that kind of clicks for you mentally that lets you get off them? Uh, honestly, uh, I know I know that's when Joel gets his rest. So I know that's when uh, either we got to get the lead back or maintain the lead or grow the lead. And, uh, you know, my teammates and my coach staff, they really look up, you know, look to me at that time to not just score for myself, but, uh, you know, run a team, get guys involved, you know, make sure guys are in the right spot. So, you know, I'm just, I feel like the preparation that I, I put in and, and all the time, is, it, it shows. And uh, I try to go out there and be extremely aggressive to help us get Ws. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you.